Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial today on applying algebra. Today we have going to today we are going to use all the skills, sorry, that we have learnt thus far. Okay, and we're going to apply it to writing some expressions of our own. Let's have a look. Okay, now I made a mistake. I included some other words that just weren't needing to be in there. Okay, so don't write them. But I need you to write the skills of algebra can be applied to many situations. Okay, such as engineering, science, economics, working out tax, working out change, so many different things we can apply algebra to. Pretty much anything. Algebra is the basics of most of the maths that we do. So let's have a look at how we're going to apply our algebra today. The total t cost of K bottles if each bottle costs $4. Now, I'm looking for you to be able to write this. How do I write the cost of K bottles if each bottle costs $4? I don't want to know the answer. I want to know how do I write the expression. So this time I'm not giving you the expression. I'm asking you to be little mathematical geniuses and write it. So K bottles if each bottle costs 4. Okay, so that's just K times 4. I'm really hoping some of you are sitting there yelling at your video tutorial at the moment and going, no, miss, no, no, not K times 4. Because I know from all my study of algebra, I don't write K times 4 as that. The way I write K times 4, my numbers always go first and my pronumerals go second. If it's multiplication, I write it not like that but I write 4k. So if I want to write an expression that represents the total cost of bottles if each bottle costs $4, that's how I do it, 4k. The area of a rectangle, if its breadth is 2 more centimeters more than its length, and its length is x centimeters. Okay, oh gosh, okay, this is a tricky one. Well, Area, how do I work out area of a rectangle? So area is length times breadth. Okay, now I know that the length is x. And then it's told me that breadth, so length times, that the breadth is x plus 2. x plus 2. So there's the length, there's the breadth. Okay, you might notice that there's a times in between. Now brackets already mean multiply, so I do not have to write it like that. I simply write x brackets x plus 2. Okay, because the length I got told is x centimeters and the breadth is 2 centimeters more than the length. So x times x plus 2. That's how I work out that answer. Oh my gosh, okay. The total cost of hiring a plumber for a certain number of hours, which I'm going to represent with n, if he charges $40 to come out and then $70 an hour. So my hours are multiplied by $70. $70 an hour means that the cost to hire a plumber would be 70 times N. I'm hoping some of you are sitting there yelling at your video tutorial going, no, 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 no. I don't write 70 times N. I write 70 N. And then the additional $40 an hour, okay, would be plus four zero. 70N plus 40 is the way in which I would work out the total cost of hiring a plumber for a certain number of hours if he charges $40 to come out, a call-out fee, and $70 an hour. These are the kind of questions you'll be asked to write, writing expressions. Okay, and that's it guys, that's how to write expressions for situations and apply algebra.